Hi everyone, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we're going to create this typing effect over here. We're going to use a library called TypedJS to design this. So let's get started. So just go to Google and uh, type TypedJS over here and uh, you'll get this link of the GitHub repository. So just go to that link. Now this is the repository and uh, if you want you can also go over here to the website and see the live demos and uh, you can also install it with npm and uh, you can also use a CDN and there are a lot of options over here we're just gonna download this so just click on clone or download over here and uh, click on download zip Here is the zip file that I downloaded. So just go ahead and extract it over here. Now go inside the folder and uh, search for the lib directory. And uh, here you can find the typed min.js. So just copy this and paste it over here. And now we can delete the zip file and uh, this folder over here. In my project folder I also have an IMG folder and in that I have the logo over here. So let's go to VS Code and start designing this. First of all let's create the index.html file. So we'll type index.html and we'll write the basic HTML5 boilerplate. So just type exclamation and press tab. We'll change the title to GT Coding. Alright, now we'll open this with live server. So this is an extension for VS Code. So here we have our website. Let's go ahead and create a division with a class of container. And we need to have two things over here, an image and a heading. So we'll type IMG. And for the source, we'll type IMG slash logo dot PNG. And in our H1, we will type learn and then we'll create a span with a class of typed you can name this class anything you like so this span is going to be used for typing so if you go to our original website we can see learn stays over here and uh, all these skills are being typed over here web technologies computer science web designing so we are just typing learn over here and uh, the rest of the text will be typed using this span with a class of typed. So first we'll create a style.css file and uh, we'll style this. And uh, we'll link our style over here. First of all we'll type some global styling. So margin 0, padding 0. For the container image we will give a width of 60 pixels and a margin of 50 pixels for top and bottom and auto for left and right and now we'll style the container so we'll give it a height of 100 viewport height display of flex and flex direction to column justify content to the center and we'll give a background color of ECEBEB -E font family to railway thin if you don't have this font installed on your system you won't be able to use this font so you have to first download this font or else you can also use uh, Google fonts directly I have a video on using Google fonts so now we'll type font size and we'll set the size to 12 pixels and we'll set the text transform to uppercase and uh, letter spacing of uh, 8 pixels we'll also give it a padding of 0 32 pixels and the color of the text to 424242 now we'll style the typed class so we'll type color and we'll set the color to fdb04c and the background color to black so that's basically it with the styles now let's go back to index.html and here we will link our script file 
so here we will type src and uh, we will type typed js and uh, now here we will type some script now to use typed js you have to create a new typed object so we will type var and we have to name it something and uh, then we will type new typed now in the parenthesis you have to first of all uh, type the name of the class which you want to use for typed js so here we will type dot typed if you have an id then you can type hash over here so we already have some text displayed over here now for the next argument you have to provide an object with uh, different properties so first of all we will type strings and this is where we type all the text that we want to be displayed so we will type each of them as different strings so we will type web designing now we will just type all the other strings now here we can see everything is being typed over here now there are a lot of other options that you can provide over here we can change the typing speed so we can type type speed and uh, we'll set to say 55 we can see the speed has changed and we can also change the back speed if you set it to 44 so let's just change this back to 0 and uh, you can also change the cursor character so we have this uh, this character as the cursor now we'll just change this to underscore so we'll type cursor care and we'll type underscore over here and here we can see the underscore as the cursor character after going through all these strings it just stops typing so we can also set a property called loop and we'll set it to true and now it will keep typing so that's basically how you create a typing effect in your website so that's all for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day